Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Data Driven Decisions. In today's video, uh, we're going to work through um, uh, a data pipeline issue that um, you know currently exists in my uh, personal finance solution. Um, that is, um, you know, I'm taking uh, CSV files and um, manually importing them into Google Cloud Storage. And then going into BigQuery and then dropping the input table and recreating it. That's a manual process that I have to do every time I need to refresh the data. Um, and that's somewhat of a pain in the butt. And I want to get rid of um, that manual uh, process. And the solution for turning that manual process into an automated process is Python. And um, what I recently did this morning was create a Python script script that um, imports the the Excel files, uh, or I only did one of them, the monthly finance. It imports the monthly finance file, turns it into a data frame. Um, it renames columns just to make sure that um, all field names are okay for a database. That means taking out all special characters getting rid of all spaces, turning them into underscores. Um, so renaming all the fields, just making sure that they can get into BigQuery and then exporting that data frame directly into BigQuery as a new table. Um, uh, so that's what I did. And then um, all that I had to do in BigQuery was um, turn the Python table uh, make sure that it was in the same schema as the input um, CSV file of which I was uh, getting from cloud storage. Um, so just some simple uh, column renaming wasn't too difficult. Um, and that's, that's all I had to do to turn it into an automated process. So let me share my screen and I'll show you what, what I did. So here is the Excel file that um, I wanted to automate. Uh, beforehand, I was manually copying this table, pasting it into a CSV file, doing some manual um, formatting of, of the fields, turning them into numbers, then importing that CSV file into cloud storage, then dropping the table in BigQuery and recreating it in BigQuery, all a manual process that I just got rid of. Um, so it starts off with this Excel file. This is what I used to, um, input all my monthly finances. And um, if I go into Visual Studio Code, here is the Python script that I wrote. Uh, it starts off just with uh, importing libraries and getting the uh, BigQuery environment set up. Um, the next step is, um, is reading the Excel file. So uh, going, getting the Excel file and then directing it to what sheet, the monthly finance sheet, and that just turns it into a data frame. Um, then I just print the columns just to see them. And then I uh, do some, some renaming, um, get rid of some invalid. I tried to do um, a grand scale um, renaming with this code right here to replace spaces with underscores and special characters with just nothing. Um, that didn't do everything. But, um, you know, I finalized the renaming right here, a uh, big chunk of time just to find every invalid uh, field name and, and give it a better name. And then, so I got I got the data frame now that it's all clean and all I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do any data manipulation in Python. I wanna do it all in SQL. I just wanna get this table into BigQuery auto, in an automated fashion. So, so, um, I first uh, load the credentials of the JSON file for the BigQuery. This is how I connect to my BigQuery environment. Um, and then I drop the table if it already exists. The month, it's, it's called Python monthly finance in. And then lastly, I just uh, import the, the data frame to uh, a BigQuery table. And this is the code that does it right here. So very simple. Um, all I do is just hit the run button, run it. So every time I want to upload, instead of doing the manual process, 
uh, I just have to go in here and run this code. So here's the code. Um, I just have to run the whole thing. And you'll see in the terminal, um, it's executing it, the script step by step. And that lets me know that it's done. So now we go into BigQuery. There's nothing I have to do in cloud storage. But we can first look at the input table. That's this one right here. So this just got loaded in from Python. And uh, the field names are not the same as what they were from the CSV file. So the next step was just doing a simple renaming of all the fields to get them to what they were beforehand. So this was new code that I had to add, just simple renaming of everything. And then uh, and then everything else was the same. So this is the next, next piece of code that um, does the further data manipulation. And I didn't have to change any of it because I got the Python table in the exact schema as the input CSV file. So that's all I had to do to automate it. And this script runs in full. Let me save it. And everything in the dashboard now runs. So uh, that took out one of the manual steps of this uh, ETL process, taking the monthly finance and automating it. I just have to do this with the, um, with the personal capital transaction table and, um, and, the, and the budget table, and that would make it fully automated. So, um, you know, good, good advancement to the project today. Um, introducing python into the into the pipeline and uh turning the initial um etl into uh into an automated process so that's that thank you for listening have a good day be well